gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. If you would like to order a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. If you would like to enter a, to win a $100 giveaway, you just like, subscribe, and in the comment section on one video, enter winner. But please allow this for our Scorpio family members who are having a bit of trouble and could use a $100 come up for those who are doing well for yourself. Just pass this forward and allow our family members who, who could use that $100 to benefit. Um, today is Saturday and the Saturday before Easter when we are shooting this reading. <clears throat> um, I am taking two days off. I have family members coming in and super excited, but I wanted to get a few readings out for you. So we are going to do some messages from Spirit for this beautiful weekend and, and just kind of get a vibe on what is coming here in the upcoming days. And we're going to say, what is the messages that we need to know from now until the end of April? So let's hop straight into this. This is more of a general reading. Number 18, let them go. You often take on the pain of others. You used to think it was because you're an empath, but these days you're not sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you and giving nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel we're inherited pain from those who have come before us in our family tree. This is your permission to let it go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry. So if you're dealing with some issues, Scorpio, or some people in your family who want you to take on all their shit or trauma dump on you or whatever the case is, this is your message to let it go. If somebody is not filling your cup and you are just doing all the pouring, um, your guides want you to know that it could be time to let them go. Spirit, tell me what is the overall energy for Scorpio from now until the end of April? What is the messages that we need to know? Need for control, an obsession of power, a power struggle Ooh, with Mars energy coming out with sacrifice. Okay. Um, confusion regarding whatever situation you're dealing with right now. Um, I feel somebody here, there's a power struggle between you and another person. There could be a power struggle between you and a family member, a power struggle between you and a co-worker or your um, employer or a lover. For some of you, it just depends on where um, you are in this, you know, some of you are having power struggles with people around you though, okay? Some of you could be dealing with obsessive intrusive thoughts about another person. Um, if that is the case, understand that it's important to start learning how to, to um, deal with your mind and your thoughts. And there's a lot of different techniques, but breathing, a breathing technique, breath work is, is very helpful. Um, counting as you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and really learning how to slow yourself down. Um, um, you can't stop thinking about another person by saying, I'm going to stop. It's law of attraction. But what you can do, Scorpio, is find something that you enjoy, that you love. Find something that can help you take your mind off of it and channel your energy into something else. I feel for some of you, you could be dealing with a power struggle with a lover, right? Um, you, you, you were in a masculine energy. They were in a masculine energy. And a lot of the times... Um, Females take on a feminine and a masculine energy because um, you have to get everything done. You're the one that makes everybody's life go round, world go round. You're the one making all the decisions. And so you start to become in this weird power struggle. Um, and it's, you know, all energetically, really. Don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive. Straight direct message to one somebody out here. Don't give up on love. Don't give up on loving yourself. Don't give up on loving others. And, and possibly don't give up on love in the situation you're dealing with here that there's a power struggle. If you all have built a life and a family together, then perhaps it's worth saving. Have no fear. 
Fear is a trap of an ego. Allow me to use my sword to cut you free from the feelings that are holding you back. Number 14, as well as someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so happiness can enter your life, Scorp. So your guides want you to know that somebody new is coming, whether this is a lover, a friend, uh, uh, a you know new opportunity perhaps, or meeting somebody in the community, um, or meeting somebody at work. There's something new coming for you. For some of you, you may be thinking about starting a new um, class or or doing something. You or if you're not, you should be. I'm I'm looking into. I'd like to start going to um, yoga classes, but I need one for beginners. <laughs> I can see my. You see my chubby butt up there with all these uh, really good yoga uh, people. It might be a little awkward, but I just want to be able to learn the, the, you know, learn. So I'm trying to find one that's for beginners. But for some of you, maybe you are thinking about taking a course or a class or, or doing something new. Maybe you're thinking about going back to school. Whatever the case is, it seems to me like you're being guided here to not give up on love, Scorpio, because somebody new is coming. For those that are looking for new love, it is on the way. I feel here someone deserves to be recognized for all that they do. Yeah, you. You need to be recognized for all that you do. But it's time to get out of your head and back in your heart. Obsession. A lot of you, you're having obsessive thoughts about another person. You're having obsessive thoughts. It's like a soul ache. It's like, it's like you're not even having a conscious thought. It's just kind of on repeat in your mind, you know, and, and it's because they've activated something inside of you. So your soul is just aching for this person, Scorp. You're being asked to let go of all judgments and forgive those who judge you. So that's another message here. I feel um, celebration. Take time out to celebrate. Number 27, number 33. I feel like you all, you need to take time out to acknowledge how much you really do, how much you do for your family, how much you do for your friends, how much you've done for this lover. It's time to celebrate yourself, Scorp, really. I feel here um, you're about to be recognized by somebody and I feel that these obsessive thoughts are going to subside joy wonderful you're being guided to do more things that make you happy see and take time out to celebrate um, the message from your guides is clear here it's time for you to go have some fun you're being guided to respect the decisions of others and their opinions coming out here with judgment if somebody has been judging you or somebody's opinion of you may not be um, the greatest it's none of your business what other people think of you when you start living that by that Scorpio that it's not, you know, if, if somebody doesn't like me at work or somebody doesn't like me in my friend circle, whatever the case is, or if a lover doesn't see my worth, it's none of your business what they think of you. It's your business to think good of you, Scorpio. If you know why you're doing something or why you're making a, a move um, or made a certain decision, then that's what's important. We're going to clarify these obsessive thoughts here. I feel like for a lot of you, this could be somebody else thinking obsessively over, you know, about you in your time. Take control of time. Decide you're in control. It's up to you to decide what you want, baby. Okay. So for a lot of you, I feel like you are going round and round in your mind about trying to make a decision here about love, money, otherwise, but it's going to come right on time within the next six months. Union. Um, engagement, your commitment will be rewarded, wishes, healing, miracles, a wish will be granted. A wish will be granted, Scorpio. Don't give up on love, honey. It's coming. It's coming. It really is. But we are going to clarify. What do I want to clarify with? We're going to clarify. What is the, this obsessive thoughts? I feel for some of you, this person is obsessively thinking of you. And so you're picking up on their thoughts. Yeah. See, there's a lot of power struggles. Somebody here is trying to self-improve, push forward, and someone here is unchanged. Scorpio, you are going to have victory. You deserve an award, an achievement here. This, th I feel that you have somebody that is obsessing over the changes you've made in your life or how much you have changed. You could have relocated. I feel for some of you, you are very faithful and very loving and very caring to this person and they are obsessing over it and the divine wants you to know that. 
you're being asked here to heal inner child wounding and I feel like that's what you're doing. You're balancing out yourself because there was somebody here that was very deceitful. Here is the fox. We never have a reading that the fox doesn't show up in when I use certain cards. I feel this person's very crafty. I also, redhead is standing out to me. Somebody here might have red hair, but there was definitely a tower moment. You could have been having an affair with this person. It's 666 six, coming out the deck. 666. Six, six. Please look up angel number 666. Six, six. There was sensual pleasure. This person could have had an affair or you were having an affair with them. And now there is obsessive thoughts happening. I feel here you're being guided to try to get out of your head about whatever has went on. It's, you know, there's no need to continue to think about that. There's no need to keep going back to that. For some of you here, this person is contemplating. They are healing and they are going within. What's coming for Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio in love? I feel there's about to be a sudden change, a tower moment, because there's an offer coming in. For some of you, when you meet somebody new, this is when this person is going to obsess. When you start dating, if they get word of that on the street. Mm -hmm. See, this person's been afraid of the unknown, but you are entering into unknown territory, and there's going to be a lot of romance, a lot of romance here. Open yourself up to it, Scorp. Open yourself up. Just be open. You don't have to completely close. We also have 1414, by the way. I just seen my guides ask me to look down. AM could mean something to you. A lot of healing. A lot of healing coming for you from now into the next six months, from now until the end of April. Somebody here wants to control. There's power struggles going on. There's, there's, there's obsessive thoughts going on. I feel this person is delusional. They, they, they feel the need to control the um, amount of love they give you or where this relationship goes. So they've turned it into some stalemate. There's people's opinions, though. There's stress. There's family, family stress. There's family judgment and, and, and opinions about this connection. But we are going from unchanged to a change is in the air here, Scorpio. I feel like there's about to be a lot of change here in your love life. I really do. I feel you're going to be presented with an offer even from either from this past person or from a new person. But there's going to be some sudden change, some sudden change in your mindset too. It could be a new person entering your life. Let go of control issues and allow this to unfold naturally. Coming out with deception, someone's wearing a false mask. This person is trying to control this situation. They could be trying to control the flow of information that comes to you, the flow of information that goes to a third party. They could be trying to control everybody involved. Maybe they want to control you. Possibly, perhaps we're talking about somebody who was very controlling that always wanted to know where you were, your every move or wanted to control everything you all did. And you ended up getting in a power struggle with them. Spirit is saying that this person is wearing a false mask. Squirt. It's going to be important for you to remember that. Yeah, finances and career. Your fi financial issues are affecting your love life. And let your friends help. So for some of you here, you could meet somebody at work. But whatever the case is, it is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. For a lot of you, you are about to meet a new person. And it could be at work. It definitely could be. For others, you could work with this past person that has some kind of obsession. For some of you, you're both having obsessive thoughts about each other. But you haven't spoke. It's turned into a stalemate. And... You're about to have some mm, sudden upheaval, some tower moment with this person. I feel that, um, ooh, we have a card down. Yeah, you're going to get an invitation. And again, we have love and passion. So the message here is clear. The divine is saying, Spirit, don't give up on love, Scorpio, because in the next from now until the next six months, you definitely have a past person that's going to come on in and want a reunion. But you also have the ability to it, between the spring and summer here to start a new, beautiful, fiery romance and um, get an invitation. 
in the next 29 days. This could happen for some of you. For others, it could be on the 29th of May, the 29th of June. I feel that you're going to get an invitation from somebody new for a lot of you. For others, there's somebody you've been crushing on, thinking about a lot, having obsessive thoughts, and you're about to have some... Um, tower moment because this person's going to come in here and and bang you with the truth mm -hmm. this person um, wants to come in and uh tell you something and wow double aces scorpio you have something coming out with the ten of pentacles do you see this do you hurt me you have a lot of beautiful financial blessings on the way, a new job, a new financial opportunity, wealth, security, building legacy with somebody here. So do not give up on love. Do not give up on yourself or loving life, Scorp. It's almost over. You're almost out of it. Tell me, what is this person? Why are they controlling? What do they want? There's so much about control here. This could be an earth sign. Yeah. This person wants to come in here and give you some love offer, but somebody could be controlling them. Somebody could be obsessed with them. This person's been making head over heart decisions, but they're coming in with the truth. They look at you like you're single, like you're abundant, like you're standing in your power. I feel here this person um, really wants to come, but they've been so slow because they need to walk away from something else. And I'm beginning to believe that it's a third party that's very controlling. Somebody here in the mix is obsessed and in, 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 like, has control issues. This person's been moving extremely slow, but they are coming in with a practical, stable offer. They're very regretful. Five of Cups. This could be an air sign, a water sign. Tell me, spirit, what does this person want to say to Scorpio? What offer do they want to make? You know, they want to boss up here. They want stability. They want practicality. But the King of Pentacles can be very controlling. The King of Pentacle energy is very controlling, very stable, very abundant, but also likes to control situations around them. They like to control things. I feel this person walks around in big D energy, but they always want to be in control. Or this person feels like you always want to be in control, Scorpio, and that's why they're nervous to come in. For some of you, they may have felt like you were controlling, and I'm not saying you were. I'm just saying what I see here in the cards. They, they are trying to be disciplined and they, they're putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into their work. I feel you do too. You both could have very good careers, but they are manifesting you. They are manifesting you because they look at you here like you are um, the everything, that you are their wish fulfillment, the everything about, they love everything about you, but they are afraid they're going to be meant with the queen of swords. For others, this person has a soon to be ex that is very controlling, that controls their every move. So they're cutting this person out and walking away because they're tired of being controlled by a third party. They're tired of being controlled by material things as well. They're tired of being controlled by friends, family. Yeah, they want to come in here, Scorpio. They do. But there's, there's greed. There's greed in their energy. Somebody is being very controlling. Somebody is holding them back because they're very greedy. This person wants to come in here and have some unified partnership. Um, they're very burdened right now, a lot of stress, but here comes communication. And I'm telling you, they're leaving somebody out in the cold. They're leaving a queen of swords or king of swords out in the cold to come in and have a brand new beginning with you because this person is controlling as fuck. And, and I mean, I'm telling you, like there's so much control and obsession in the energy. I feel everybody involved has been having obsessive thoughts. It's been very overwhelming for you all. I'm not sure if I deserve the way you love me. I feel overwhelmed with responsibilities. What did I say? A lot has happened. I'm not sure how to handle this connection. I don't know where it fits. And this is the thing, y'all. This person is very overwhelmed with friends, family, um, children, a, a lover perhaps. But mm -mm -mm. they're trying to figure out where, where this belongs. If they even deserve your love, Squirt, because they feel undeserving of you. I feel a lot has changed since you all have talked last. I could talk to you forever. I will reach out soon. 
as well as it's you I've been looking for my whole life. What did I tell you, y'all? This person looks at you like you are every damn thing, Scorpio. In this person's eyes, you are perfection. You are everything. But there is something else controlling them and holding them back. And it quite possibly could be an addiction. It, it could be a family member. It could be children. Maybe their children are very, very um, demanding. There's something hold, that's been holding them back, but they are going to reach out soon. Manifestations. A bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. Scorpio, you are manifesting something beautiful is coming. Wishes right on time, baby. For some of you, it's this person. Care required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish decisions at this time because this person is not telling you something. They're, they're coming in here. They're coming in um, not a hundred. So please beware of that, Scorpio. Please beware that this person may not be telling you the whole story about something. Whatever the case is, there is healing, there is miracles, and it's coming right on time. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available. Follow it with faith. Yes, there is brand new things coming, honey. The past is behind you now. Focus on the future. Time. <laughs> you're trying too hard. Give it time. Y'all, if you're having obsessive thoughts, know that everything will happen exactly when it's supposed to. There's no need to obsess. There's no need to go round and round in your mind because, sweetheart, it's coming right on time. I wish everybody has a, I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.